What's on the menu tonight? An old fashioned, all American dinner. We're gonna have meatloaf. In the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, this was in every single American home, probably once a week. Meatloaf was the name of the game. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna modernize it a little bit because I'm gonna make it a little bit healthier. And um, I got this recipe from my good old fashioned dog-eared uh, cookbook that I bought brand new about 40 years ago. And I have used this thing like crazy. It is dirty, it is ugly, it is faded, tattered, and torn because it has been used a lot. I learned a lot from this. This is the Better Homes and Garden new cookbook. I grabbed this meatloaf recipe about 40 years ago and I made it pretty true to course what the book uh, recipe said, but over the years I started to want to health it up a little bit because when I read that book, What Color Is Your Diet by Dr. David Heber, and he talked about having that variety of you know, colorful vegetables in your diet, I started to make it my mantra, how can I get more vegetables in my diet? And meatloaf is a perfect place to do that. This is what we're gonna do. We are gonna take, uh, the vegetables that I have here are half of an onion. And if you heard in my earlier videos and some of my other videos, you have to think about the size of your vegetable. How do you want this? I don't want big chunks of onion in here. And this isn't a stew where it's gonna break down. So I want them to be a little bit smaller. I know my husband always said that my mother always had slimy onions in the meatloaf. So we're gonna conquer that in two ways. One, I'm gonna make sure that I dice the, the veggies small. And again, I have, a, I have a, a half a large onion, dice small. I've got one celery stick, dice small, two garlic cloves that I, diced small instead of mincing. And then I grated one carrot, one large carrot on the box grater. And then if I have fresh mushrooms, I would use fresh mushrooms, but all I had was canned. That's what we have. What I'm gonna do to help get that slimy onion flavor away is I'm actually gonna just soften these a bit. A saucepan, I'm gonna put just a little bit of, of um, olive oil in there. probably take about five minutes and I will show you the rest when you come back and we're back okay so it took about five six minutes to get these vegetables softened and cooked my ratio here I might have a little more vegetable than I want because if you have too much vegetable that it's a little bit hard for it to hold together but we'll see and what I have here is I have a pound of grass-fed and what I'm gonna to add to this is salt and pepper. I did salt and pepper my vegetables, but I'm gonna add that in there. And I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of fresh thyme. And I think thyme is great. You don't have to put it in there, but you do. And then I also have eight ounces of tomato sauce, two beaten eggs. This will help bind everything together. So you really do need those. And another way that I'm healthifying it is my recipe originally called for saltine crackers. I am doing old fashioned rolled oats to give it a little bit more fiber. And that is a little bit healthier than just some white crackers. Now I, I always dig right in there with my hands, get it going and squish it around, get it started. And now I'm gonna check out how much of these vegetables I actually wanna put in there. So, I might, I might go all the way. Let's try that. This is looking beautiful. All right, now I have a, a regular loaf pan. I, I don't know what size this is. I'm gonna say nine by six. Is that what it looks like? Now, what we're gonna do is get this all padded in. I like to put just your favorite barbecue sauce. Some people put ketchup, or a lot of people put ketchup. I like the barbecue sauce, it's a little bit more zing. And we're gonna put it in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes. And we're gonna serve this with mashed potatoes and green bean. You can't get any more all-American than that. You know, we're talking mid-century all-American. Meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and green beans. But my mashed potatoes are so delicious, I have a little trick and you wanna see that trick because it will transform your potatoes. So come on back, we'll show you those in a few minutes. All right, now we're gonna make our mashed potatoes, which I absolutely love with meatloaf. And what I have here 
is I have some Yukon Gold potatoes, and these are delicious potatoes on their own. They have a very rich, buttery flavor. I remember my dad saying, oh, you have to try these potatoes because you don't even need butter to eat these, and that is true. They're just filled with flavor. I love them. They become one of my favorite potatoes. But you know, russet potatoes are also really good for mashed potatoes, but we do have the Yukon Gold. I just love the texture of the potatoes this way. What this little gadget is here is this is a ricer. And all we're doing is pressing these potatoes through this ricer. And this is gonna just really smooth these potatoes out. Now, this is just my husband and myself, so I have just two, you know, medium-sized potatoes. All right, now it's a beautiful pile of snow. What I did is I put in my microwave just some butter and some cream, a little bit. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Absolutely delicious. All right, we got a delicious mashed potato. We've got our meatloaf that's sitting for a few minutes, and we're gonna taste this at the table. See you over there. Well, I am drooling here. I'm so hungry and this looks great. This turned out absolutely perfect. Perfect ratio of the veggie inside of the meatloaf. It, it held together very well, which is what you want to see. So nice structured meatloaf and lots of veggies in there. I always like to put ketchup on mine. I don't know about you, but. Or you can just put some more of that barbecue sauce, but I just like ketchup. I don't know, is that a Midwest thing? Is that a normal thing? I don't know. All right, let's try it. This is so good. If you haven't made meatloaf in a while, or if you're looking for a new spin on meatloaf, or if you've never made meatloaf, you seriously have got to try this. It is a delicious, all-American comfort food modernized, made a little bit healthier, and I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna dig in. If you like this, please uh, consider joining my channel so that you can see all the recipes that I bring out. I make all kinds of things from delicious, gooey, yummy desserts to very, very healthy salads and other things, and I even do fresh milled flour and baking with that. So please like, subscribe, join me back, and we'll see you at the next recipe. Thanks for coming.